One day some twisted son of a bitch is bound to teach you a thing or two about living in this cold, godforsaken world. Now the Fukushima Daiichi plant continues to be plagued with problems. Engineers there say chemical corrosion is the likely cause of a leak last month of contaminated water from a new filtering system. The system is designed to remove radioactive substances from the water. You have your calendar in the sink and just slowly pour your water into it. Workers at the plant found the leak in a part of a stainless steel tank that had been welded. They emptied the tank and found two holes and more than 10 dents inside. Each dent was 2 to 5 millimeters in diameter. Officials of Tokyo Electric Power Company say a chemical to remove impurities likely reacted with the vessel. They say they plan to apply anti-corrosion resin to the steel. About 400 tons of contaminated water accumulates every day at the plant due to groundwater seeping into the crippled reactor buildings. Japanese power companies operating nuclear plants have filed applications to restart some of their reactors. We felt that putting our users in mortal danger for a quick buck was the right move. All but two of the nation's 50 commercial reactors have been offline for safety checks in the wake of the Fukushima accident. Power companies are seeking to restart a total of 10 reactors at five nuclear plants. The plants are located throughout Japan from Tomari in the northern island of Hokkaido to Sendai in southern Kagoshima Prefecture. The executives of the operators submitted the applications to the Nuclear Regulation Authority on Monday. The new safety requirements became effective on that day. Regulators will proceed to screen them based on their requirements. The 80 experts of the regulatory body will determine whether the utilities have taken all necessary measures to prevent accident like a meltdown from happening. We're going to need a bigger boat. Officials at the NRA say it will take at least six months to process each application. The Nuclear Regulatory Agency says their stricter safety rules are based on lessons learned from the disaster at Fukushima Daiichi two years ago. But does the new approach mean that nuclear safety is now guaranteed? NHK World's Yochiro Tadewa has more. The new requirements oblige plant operators to implement a number of measures. Operators must prepare for the highest predicted tsunami waves. They have to set up breakwaters and take other precautions to prevent seawater from entering the facilities. The new requirements also oblige operators to upgrade their backup power systems. A loss of power after the tsunami hit in 2011 triggered the triple meltdown at Fukushima Daiichi. In addition, operators have to build alternative control rooms to serve as backups in the case of accident. And they have to install filter vents that will remove radioactive substances when engineers release pressure from reactor containment vessels to prevent explosions. We aimed to make requirements that are the most stringent when compared to international standards. The question now is whether the measures called for in the guidelines will be fully implemented. The Nuclear Regulatory Authority's independence is being put to the test. Eighty authority members will vet the application. Their expertise is crucial. And what's most important is whether the utilities will address the process seriously. The Fukushima Daiichi disaster revealed a lack of transparency on the part of the plant operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company. TEPCO is now seeking to restart another plant, this time in Niigata, on the Sea of Japan coast. But the plant is facing stiff opposition from the local community. The Niigata governor has expressed his profound displeasure. Why didn't you consult with us before you made the decision? TEPCO now says that it has given up its original plan to file a restart application on Monday. Instead, it will try to gain local approval first. But the utilities argue that restarting the nuclear plants 
is essential if they are to stay in business. No matter what they argue, though, safety must come first before anything else. The utilities must move away from their history of secrecy. They must transform themselves to be more transparent and accountable. Yoichiro Tateiwa, NHK World, Tokyo. Japan's nuclear regulators have given the green light for two nuclear reactors to stay online when stricter safety rules come into effect next week. Which is counterintuitive to the point of madness. The oil plants number three and four reactors are the only two operating in Japan. The officials from the Nuclear Regulation Authority inspected the plant to see if con it conforms to the new requirements. They concluded that there is no immediate serious safety problem. I'm just think funny things. <laughs> We've decided that there's no need to halt the two reactors at the OI plant. The reactors will keep running until their next maintenance check that's scheduled for September. Got the right way, you got the wrong way. Got the right way, you got the wrong day. You got the wrong time, you got the right track. You got the nose to the grindstone when it's your back. Got the bad luck, you got the good luck. You got the hard luck, you got the quick buck. You got the right way, you got the wrong time. You got the nerve to be crazy and you're out of your mind. You got the go away, you got the go ahead stay. You got the okay, you got the what do you say. You got the thick of it, you got the hang. Of it, you got the handle in the middle of the trick of it. You got the close up. You got the big love, you got the clean up, you got the rubber dub dub, you got the high road, you got the low road, you got the seeds that you plant and you reap what you sow, you got the good idea, you got the bad idea, you got the good feel, you got the bad feel, you got the mixed steak, you got the milkshake, you got the hot summer heat, go jump in the lake, you got the right way, you got the wrong way, you got the right day, you got the wrong day, you got the wrong time, you got the right track, you got the no to the grass, don't whip your back. Got the right way, you got the wrong way. Got the right way, you got the wrong day. You got the wrong time, you got the right track. You got the nose to the grindstone when it's your back. Got the bad luck, you got the good luck. You got the hard luck, you got the quick buck. You got the right way, you got the wrong time. You got the nerve to be crazy and you're out of your mind. You got the go away, you got the go ahead stay. You got the okay, you got the what do you say. You got the thick of it, you got the hang of it. You got the handle in the middle of the trick. You got the close up you got the big love, you got the clean up, you got the rubber dub dub, you got the high road, you got the low road, you got the seeds that you plant and you reap what you sow, you got the good idea, you got the bad idea, you got the good feel, you got the bad feel, you got the mixed steak, you got the milkshake, you got the hot summer heat, go jump in the lake, you got the right way, you got the wrong way, you got the right day, you got the wrong day, you got the wrong time, you got the right track, you got the nose to the grass, don't whip your back.
Well, leaders from the U.S. auto and agricultural sectors are taking a tough stance toward Japan as it prepares to join negotiations for the Trans-Pacific Partnership Free Trade Agreement for the first time. The leaders expressed their opinions in a hearing held by the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative ahead of the 18th round of TPP talks scheduled later this month in Malaysia. Japan will join 11 other nations in the talks. We believe that we have an unprecedented opportunity to further open Japan's market, providing new export opportunities for U.S. businesses and workers, supporting jobs here at home. At the same time, we are fully aware of the challenges that we will face. The American Automotive Policy Council criticized Japan, saying the country has intentionally weakened its currency to help its exporters. It said it would oppose Japan joining the TPP unless the U.S. keeps its tariffs on Japanese autos for more than 25 years. Meanwhile, the National Milk Producers Federation welcomed Japan's participation in the talks, but it said entering the Japanese market is expected to be very difficult because of high tariffs on imported dairy products and complicated regulations. It called on the nation to address these issues. Now, Japanese trade officials are likely to face tough negotiations at the TPP talks as they hope to keep tariffs on agricultural products to protect domestic farmers. And here we are, an awkward and completely uncomfortable stopping place. Just the perfect time to say, ta-ta for now.